Hail and welcome to the Black Tower. I am your host, your guide, your brother, the sorcerer, Aramana Sue. Now, you know, we've been going over a lot of the Necronomicon. And everybody's like, yeah, it's okay, it's great, it's dandy. Hmm. Let us not be so quick to dismiss it. This is not just a book about changing and transmuting the inner world. Oh yeah, it's time to do the fun shit. Now it's time to the magic of the Necronomicon. You ever wondered how come, like, the book don't give you no rituals, no spells, no nothing like that that you can do to bring wit riches, fortune, fame, success, bitches, any of that stuff? You ever, like, you know, nothing like that. It all talks about exorcisms, all these, oh, you gotta banish the evil nasties, you know, and you've gotta worship the gods, and you gotta blah, blah, blah. Okay, great and dandy. Now, let's have some fun. All right, with that in mind, you are going to need a few things. You can you can do most with a piece of paper and a marker or a pen or whatever. You're going to need the R star. You are going to need a star of some sort that you can place upon the surface of your table that you're going to be doing your workings on. Then you're going to need a candle. Wow, I got this candle for a whole dollar. I mean a dollar. Can you imagine a dollar? And I got a candle. Now, you light that bad boy. Set it right on the center, right? Right on top of the star, you know. So you're going to set it right there on top of it. Now you're like, okay, so far, dude, you've just been goofy. You ain't told me nothing. Great. I'm glad you're paying attention then. Let us go to page 20. Okay. Now on page 20, it gives the seals of the planet. Now I'm going to also try to go with a little bit in depth because I want to give some information before just setting you loose upon your way. Now first off, you must have walked the gates. So, like, let's say, for example, you wanted to do planetary magic of the moon. At least have walked the moon gate before you do this. Uh, do you have to? Yeah, I don't know. Try your hand at it if it works for you, great. But this works best if you have walked the gate in question, okay? Second off, we're going to be using the seals of the planets, according to the and the Dende Summon Necronomicon. Get your paper back. It's so deep. And it's a fun book to play with. Now, on with the show. Now, what we're going to be doing is working with the seals, the seals of the planets. The reason why is, okay, I'll just put it out there for you so that you ain't got to hurt your head thinking about it. All right. So we are not calling for the, we're not trying to gatewalk. If we were trying to gatewalk, we would have the seal of the gate itself. But we're not trying to, we're not trying to walk no gate. We're trying to bring the power of that gate into our lives. How do we do so? I'm glad you asked. With the seals. Okay. So the first seal is the God of the Moon is God not. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So what you do on your candle is underneath it on a piece of paper, make it square, make it brown, because that is a color manifestation and of the earth. Woohoo. Especially if you want it to bring it down. Now. Remember, the seven days are equated to the seven planets. For those of you who may not know which day is to which planet, Monday is the moon, Tuesday is Mars, Wednesday is Mercury, Thursday is Jupiter, Friday is Venus, Saturday is Saturn, Sunday is the sun. Now, with this in mind, depending on the day that you want to work, you want to work planetary magic, so the magic of the Necronomicon, what do you do? How do you do it? Well, I'm glad you asked. You got to remember that the moon is in has has two halves, sort of, kind of, not really. But can you just follow me here for a second? Okay. So you have the full moon, and you have the dark of the moon. Now, from full to dark, this is known as the waning moon. This is where you use magic to remove something, to destroy something. And by remove, I mean blocks, challenges, anything that stands between you and the success or the desire that you have in mind for what you want in your life. Okay, so first off, we need to decide which phase is uh, appropriate for the workings that we wish to work. So let us say that we want to remove something. We would use from full moon to the dark of the moon, the waning energy. So we would, on whichever day we were going to do the workings, we would decide, oh, well, if it fell on a Monday, make the seal of the moon. Uh, you might want to look up uh, resources online to find out, you know, what each day rules over because it tells you that. But once you've decided, 
which planet represents which desire you have or what it comes closest to, then you want to go into your handy dandy Simon Economicon. Just like so. My life's magic. Ooh, dude. Okay. And then what you do is you would find the planet that you're going to be working with and you would create this field. Uh, I would do the seal and the color that it says. Like for the moon, it's silver, so forth and so on. Okay. But you want to use, I don't care if it's a brown paper bag, it's a brown piece of construction paper. Cut it into a perfect square. You know, it doesn't have to be big or huge or anything. It just has to fit underneath your candle. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw the seal of the planet on it in the color. So get ready to do some finger painting. Oh, I love finger painting. See, it ain't no step for a step, but power for a step. Now, then what? Well, then we have to charge the seal. How do we charge the seal? Well, I'm glad you asked. You turn to page 53, and now on page 53, it begins the conjurations of the gates. But you'll be like, but you said we're going to be walking the gates. Oh, we not. we not. But depending on which seal you've used and all this, that, and the other, you're going to have to do a general calling of the planet. And to do so, using the seal instead of the gate, the seal of the gate, if you used the seal of the gate in the conjuration, you'd be calling forth the the guardian of that gate, and then you'd have to do your password and everything else, and then you'd be traveling, and it'd be for inner world working, not for outer world working. But we're talking about thaumaturgy. We're talking about casting spells, right? Rituals. They just hit me. Go boom. And to do that, you're going to need to charge the seal. Now, the seal, if it was for the moon, you would draw the seal I was showing you before, which is the seal of Nana. And then you would recite the invocation of the Nana gate. Now, you would hold your hands in a triangle. Of course, one hand's holding the tablet. You will forgive me. But both your hands together make it forming a triangle. You would set it flat over the seal while reciting your conjuration. Now, this charges the seal with the invisible energy of the planet. Then you would go and you would place the candle on top. Now, if you have beforehand consecrated candles to work in certain types of magic, all the better. Trust me, way better. But let us say that this is the first time you're doing it. Okay? Now the second thing that you would need to do is find out in what hour the planets are in. Well, for those of you who really, really hate looking up guides and stuff, I'm going to try my best to do this simple for you. Starting at 12 a.m., the first hour of that day's planet is that planet's hour. So let us say that we're starting a moon. Because it's simple. The first hour would be of the moon. The second hour would be of uh, Mercury, Venus, and so forth and so on. Well, you, you know, well, not really like that because it's not like the book. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so the first hour would be moon, and then it would be Mars, and then Mercury, and then Jupiter, and then Venus, and then Saturn, and then the sun. Okay, so 12 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, up to 6. Six to seven, so that so that the first hour from twelve to one is the planet of the day, and seven a.m. to eight a.m. also is, and then you would go start over counting seven to eight, eight to nine, nine to ten, ten to eleven, eleven to twelve, twelve to one, one to two, okay, and then you get the drift. So. Two would be the beginning of it all over again, and you would start counting on your fingers again. Now, this is the easy way. And this this just takes no requires no brain cell, okay? But this is how you determine what hours of the day are ruled by the planet. Now, is it absolutely one hundred percent accurate? No, 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 no. Considering most of the planets only rule for about forty seven to fifty one minutes, something like that. But see, here at the Black Tower, we like to keep shit simple, and we like to if it works. Go with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you ain't got to overanalyze and ain't got to, just don't. You know, we we, we hate thinking too hard because thinking too hard hurts our head. Anyway, so going back to this, you will have had the aura, pinnacle, pinnacle, whatever they're called. Have your aura set on the altar. You will then, in the hour of the planet, trace and draw the seal of the of the God of that planet in whatever color is equivalent to it. You would then set it down 
hands in a triangle over it while you recite the conjure the invocation of the planet of the gate of the planet. Like I said, this is so that it imbues it with the power. Okay. Then you would go and you would set down the candle on top. It can be a tea light. It doesn't have to be no big glass old candle. I just, I love them. I don't know why. You could set a tea light there. And as long as you know whether it's removing or destroying something or whether it's creating and pulling something to you and making sure that on that the day of the week in question actually follows the right cycle, because you'd really hate to remove riches out of your way just because you were working in the wrong phase of the moon. You gotta be careful of that sort of thing. Now, so as long as you've got all this in mind, you can create your own spells, and this is how you do it. And this is called the magic of the Necronomicon. Oh. Now, please stay tuned for more videos further on in where I continue the limitless quest of explaining and describing and let us work through because it really is there. Till then, peace.